Look at that. Oh, rain. Oh. Thank goodness I put this little awning. Right. I've got to run up there or I'll miss my train. And it's morning and it isn't raining enough to sleep. I have tried. All aboard! Oh, away we go. At least it doesn't rain in the nether. Okay, I'm heading off to spawn. Wow. You wouldn't think there's a fishing tournament going on, would you? I will be taking part in this. Should we have a look at... Yeah, let's have a look at the grand prize. Oh, well, we can't because there's a diamond block on it, but I know what's in there. Go and look at Steena Rose's video. I'll put a link in the description and you can see what the grand prize is. And second place must be the diamond block. So let's have a look at the instructions. Tournament will run from Friday the 15th to Sunday the 24th. Catch a fish in a bucket. Rename the bucket of fish with your name. Bring the renamed bucket of fish to spawn. Place it inside the barrel with your name on it. Uh, salmon, cod and puffer fish are one each. That's fair enough. Tropical fish are two each. Every day there will be two Catch of the day fish varieties worth five points each. Ooh, tricky. You may turn in up to 27 buckets of fish each day. All entries must be in before May 25. I'm going to have to clarify with Steena that, that that's May 25, her time. Living in the future and all, it gets confusing. All tournament participants will receive a commemorative banner. The player with the most points will win the tournament grand prize. A second place prize will be given to the player with the next highest score. Happy fishing. And there's the commemorative banner. That's very clever. All right, let's have a look. Where's ours? JJ Piggy Spider Wild uh, Biz. Oh, duh. Start here. Alphabetical order. <laughs> I get there in the end. So I am there. Cool, we will be doing that. If it's raining, let's make the most of it. I should have done this when we're back at home. I love my base in the rain. Look at this, isn't it gorgeous? That's Silda's shaders for you. I'll put a link in the description to that too. Come on, let's get through this. I'm gonna be soaked by the time I get here. <gasps> Ah, and it's stopped raining. Wouldn't you know it? <gasps> Next time it rains, I'll try to remember to walk around here with the shaders on. It really is dismally pretty. <laughs> I'll have to show you. I love it. I'm going to get some stuff together and then we are going to meet in the nether because I've got a lot of digging to do. Right, we're back here. And here's where I want to be because I'm finally going to start work on this. I finally have some ideas. Or more to the point, I sort of had a vision. <laughs> so we're going to have a big statue here. We're going to have a grand staircase there. We're going to have stairs down here and here. And then we're going to have pillars and fires at various points. So I've got to work out where I want the pillars and the fires and exactly where the stairs go and where the statue goes. And then I've got to dig out this floor to make it all a bit deeper. And I think the best way to do that is probably from a third person perspective.
I got all that digging done. And today could have been frustrating. Um, I've been waiting to do some more work and it's been one of those days where I haven't been able to because of all the noise of everyone still being home. So I could sit here and be frustrated and cranky or I could get on with other things. So I got on with other things. I did stuff around the house I needed to. I did a lot of prep for other episodes and then I went fishing. <laughs> These are all mine. I've started the tournament. Today's fish of the day were butterfly fish and threadfin. And there are butterfly fish and threadfin in here. I've started the tournament. Now I've got to go back to making the temple. And now that this is all dug out, I'm not actually sure I've dug out enough. Oh, we'll have to wait and see. I don't like these. These big blocky things are, are going to have to go, but I'll, I'll work out what. We'll replace them. I really don't know. What I do know, though, is that I want to do this. Come on. You can do it. And now one, whoops, two, three, four, five. I want to basically mimic what's up there. So those two, yeah, see the block things are going to have to go. And now one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And one, two, three rows above that. Yeah, I may well have to dig out another one or two levels. Let's have a look. How does that look? Completely different the further down you go. I mean, from here it looks balanced. I wonder. Hang on a sec. That looks better. Okay, I'm going to do that on the bottom of all these. See, the trouble is I know what I want to do here and I'm just trying to fit everything else in around it, but yet these have to go. Oh, and I thought I'd finish digging. This whole build is a bit of trial and error and flying by the seat of my pants. <sighs> this looks like 22 build ciphers peering in on our world. <laughs> A little bit disconcerting. I have now spent a considerable amount of time in a test world. I know what to do with some of this place. I also now know that this place is nowhere near big enough for what I had in my head. Nowhere near. So adapt, thrive. <laughs> We're going to try anyway. And we're going to try not to hit pigmen. Alright, so we'll start with this bit. That. How did you get up there? Oh, you came up behind me, of course. Sorry. Oh, now you've gone in there. Oh, you annoying thing. Oh. Right, we'll do our best. You're going to muck around with my markers, aren't you? You need somewhere. There you are. Thank you. Oh, and a tear. Excellent. Look at the mess they made of my floor. Which, by the way, I do have to dig out one more block. Those two, that one, those two. You happy in your hole? That's going to be the base of all of those. All right, this is going to be a major pillar. Okay, basically I am making uh, a hollow pillar. Oh, three cheers for scaffolding. How much difference have they, has, how much difference has that made to our lives? I mean, really? Scaffolding is brilliant. 
One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a block lower than that. That changes things. Lovely when you miscount, just lovely. <laughs> I think we can make the top one block shorter. I don't think it'll matter too much. And if it does, uh, design rethink? No, design rethink. I think that's going to be okay. It's not going to be quite the way I wanted it. But I think it's going to be okay. Nope, I don't like it. That's much better. Ah, that looks so much better. <sighs> right, enough. I will do that all the way around here. Many, many, many hours later, I've got this. This haul is by no means finished. You can see there's this strip in the middle that goes up to the doors. I haven't touched the doors. This area, oh, there has to be a back wall for starters. And then I've got to work out what to do with the steps here. I haven't finished any of that. And if we come down here, I haven't done the stairs or the entrance into the Blaze Temple. But this part of it is now done. The roof isn't finished. Don't worry about the roof. But I don't have to worry about pigmen here. I don't have to worry about wither skeletons here. The number of places that a ghast can spawn are now dramatically reduced. There's this, and there's up on that platform, and that's it. So finishing this off, working on it, has now become a lot safer. And we've got the lava pillars, and then you can see where the lava has come down and is running further down into the floor. And yeah, I don't mind that the netherrack shows there. And I'm thinking about whether I mind with it showing there. I might 
change that out. It's one of those things where I'll have to see if I can live with it or not, what I think. But it doesn't matter that it's a bit gloomy back here because none of that's spawnable. It's all bottom half slabs and stairs and that's it. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, but this has taken me hours. Oh. And I had to stop halfway through. That's why the time lapse stopped when it did because I ran out of materials. I had to go and mine. And I was thinking, oh, I'll finish the episode then. But then I thought, no, I'll come back and I will get this section finished which I've done. There's more of this to come. I do still have to finish this off, but I'm not finishing it off today. I've run out of materials as well as ideas. I need some thinking time. I always need thinking time, don't I? <laughs> but just because I'm stopping doesn't mean you have to. There are cards on the screen now, so you can go and watch some more of my videos if you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe. It really does help. And if you haven't hit the like, it'd be great if you did that too. And I'll go do some thinking and I'll see you in the overworld next time. Bye!